Hey you guys, so it's an exciting day, delivery from Tom, and here I've got this lovely big piece of beef forib here. So let's get this out and have a look at what we've got, and I'll show you what I like to do with these bits of beef which I eat day to day. First thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to remove this cap here, we've got a little sort of brisket flap and then this fat cap. So I'm just going to use my boning knife, and take the cap off. Just pull it away and use the tip of the knife, lift it away. I'm going to render this down as fat. I'm going to take these bits of meat and I'm going to grind them up for burgers. So we're going to start on the edge here. We're just going to go hard down with the boning knife, pull it away use the tip of the knife, just run it across, you don't need any pressure. All the way. So, bones, they can just be roasted just as they are, just salt and roast or on the grill or however you want. So I'm going to set those aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spinach dorsi, which is also sometimes called the deckle steak, I'm going to take that off here. Same thing, pull it away. And what you can see here is these little strands that run along here. You probably recognize those bits that you get in a ribeye, that's the tip of them there. But normally they're only thin, they're only maybe you know an inch or two across. And some people still take those off and leave them on the plate. I like those, I'm going to eat them, I'm going to keep them. But what I am going to do is take them off the edge of the steak because when we eat the steak as a big flat piece like this rib cap steak what's going to happen is that those long pieces are going to actually be difficult to eat so a butcher would make a better job of that than me i'm not a butcher I'm not going to lose any sleep over it beautiful beautiful steak i might have this on my birthday which is coming up next week this is the king spinaris I often just eat this raw, but you can do whatever you want with it. You can mix it in with burgers, you can cook it up, you can eat it raw, you can add it to other things. I actually love frozen fat like this off these ribs. A bit of salt. If I feel I haven't had enough fat, I'll just have a few bits of this. Keep all the bits. And I'm basically prepping this ribeye eye as if it was a beef fillet or tenderloin as it's called in the states so what we've got here is this piece of ribeye eye what are we going to do with these bits well i'm going to cut them into little pieces i'm going to freeze them and then i'm going to be able to just eat those as little snacks with parts of other meals. I'll be able to get a bit of extra fat if I need it on any given day. I'm gonna have them with some liver, whatever I want. This is super useful to me. I've got, either I can slice the eye, so this is the other thing I can do on this eye. I can slice some rounds of this and freeze them with this so I've got some extra meat, or I can roast the whole thing as a piece. That's how I tend to break down my four ribs just for day-to-day -day eating. 